Yo guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the hashtag one best Mega Knight deck right now in the world, guys. So this is the best Mega Knight deck right here, guys. So as you can see, this deck have pretty much guaranteed defense with the Mega Knight, Exinado, and Hunter, and the Goblins as well. And pretty much guaranteed damage on the offensive side with the Graveyard and Poison. Now anyways, jumping to our first game right here, guys. Now we're on Challenger 2 because of the season reset. But don't worry, we have the multiplier which will help us raising up the leaks. Now I'm going to go Goblins for the Giant. And I'm also going to go Mega Nut right here. A little bit of the downside so that the Baby Dragon can get to our side hopefully. Oh no, okay. Now an Axie should be enough to kill the Baby Dragon. Now anyways, guys. Um, this deck is crazy strong because you basically have unlimited splash damage as there are a lot of splash things I mean swarm things on the meta like goblins and you also have hawks then a lot of like maybe like e golem just like what you face right here and also golem stuff which is easily countered by this deck with the power of mega knight and Xenado. Now a barb better right here to tank the Valkyrie so that our hunter won't suffer too much. Then I can go graveyard and also goblins and this will do some big damage guys. Look at that guys. Now with just only one minute we just destroyed this entire tower. Okay now I'm going to go mega nut. That mega nut will make a really good fight with his own mega nut. Now it's we're still on challenger 2 so this will be rather easy to be honest but let's see how easy it can be now our enemy wasted an inferno tower like that that's pretty much pointless because he just wastes five elixir for nothing now i'm going to prepare another big push right here for the executioner so by the time that our axie and our other cards pass through the bridge right here the inferno tower should have expired so that would be really amazing for us. Now I'm going to go Hunter right here. A little bit to this side. So that the Inferno Tower won't target it. Now a little bit of a Barb Barrel and Graveyard right here. Now as you can see, that Executioner and the Hunter absolutely destroyed your mom. I mean the Barbs. Now um, why do he go Rich Spell on that? But anyways, let's go Mega Nut. We pretty much already won this match, guys. Oh, that's actually sort of well played with that. I mean the Inferno Tower. Now I'm going to do this, the Axie. Then make sure to kill the Baby Dragon first. As it is the biggest problem. Now a little bit of a Goblin, guys. And that should be enough to kill the thing. Okay. Um, the Rage Spell won't actually kill the won't actually kill the goblins which is a miracle then i'm going to go a little bit of a graveyard action and this will be good game right here guys there's no way you can break through this right now especially when there's 10 seconds left okay well played good game your clash let's laugh at your mom ha now anyways guys this is our first game right here easy win with the hashtag one best mega night deck in the world now let's go to our next match right here guys boom okay now hopefully we can easily get challenger 3 in this video or maybe even master 1 because of the leak multiplier since we got ultimate champion on the last season which is really helpful now i'm going okay uh, maybe he has hawk rider or that monkey oh um he has lock okay that means he has a cycle deck now in this case um Usually against cycle decks you want to try to wait to double elixir because on double elixir of course your enemy will put more troops and therefore your mega nut, your executioner, your whatever, your hunter, especially your poison will get way 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 more value. Now okay um why do you use this nine elixir dog for a mega nut? Wow pointless. Now okay why do I use bark barrel? That's so dumb. Okay, never mind. I'm activate King Tower anyway, so it's totally fine. Now, anyways, um, since he has a lock bed deck, that means there's a high chance of him having a rocket. So you don't wanna try to put your Axie or Hunter near your weaker tower. Instead, you want to put them near your stronger tower. So even if they rocket it, just like that, they won't get damage on your weaker tower, and you can spread it out. So just like what I expected, he really have rocket. Now I'm going to go Hunter right here. So basically, if you know your enemy have rocket, 
you want to try to bait out the enemy rocket with defense. So if you need hunter against like e giant and they have rocket, so you can bait out the rocket with the executioner. But if they have like rocket with a lot of swarm deck, you can bait out your enemy rocket with your hunter so that your executioner can survive and ending up destroy on defense. Now the lock may get some work, but still the graveyard will still get some work done, guys. So overall, decent 1300 damage. Now in this case, um I want to it for a second, then I can easily go go up this right here. If you know that your enemy have rocket and you don't want to bait it up, you can just do executioner or something like on the front. Don't put it near the tower and also if our enemy use his spell, I mean the rocket, we can easily stack up a lot of troops. You can use nade like this to kill your enemy race troop, like maybe dark gob, musketeer, executioner, e with like a lot of jerk, no skill, jerky decks, jerky stuff. Now XE so to just destroy that. Now hunter right here to destroy his mummy skeleton king. Let's go! Hunter is so underrated, bro. Wow, guys. If you want to see the most underrated card in Clash Royale, it's got to be Hunter. Like, Hunter, like, gets so little attention. It does so much work. It, like, it is so ridiculously OP, guys. People just underrated it so much. This is also the case with Executioner and also stuff like maybe Bandit. It is good, but people just don't use it. I don't know why. Now, anyways, we're a little bit close to Challenger 3. Let's go, guys. Now, anyways, let's go to our next match right here against this person. So, from his masteries, looks like he's going to have a P.E.K.K.A. Hawk Rider deck. So, in this case, um, we have Nado. The P.E.K.K.A. might be a problem because, yeah, if they have arrows, that will definitely be a problem because, okay, I miss, I misplaced my Executioner. And that let the bandit dash. How bad? Okay, now Barb Barrel to kill the firecracker. Not to mention that the barbarian will also help tank the executioner. So that's a really big win for us. Now a little bit of a hunter should be enough to kill the golden knight. Holy shit, they're so close for connecting. Wow. Now he will go something for this. Um okay, um there's the monkey. Now, Nado, your mom? Let's go. That will activate my king tower. I mean, turn on the king tower. Now, I'm going to go goblins. Boom. And then, let's see what he will do. Okay, zap. Okay, guys. So, if your enemy have zap, that is a big, big W. Because they cannot kill your goblins when they push. And this is rather helpful when you're facing against something called the P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Pam. Okay, I want to mega knight that. I want to protect my executioner. Now, yeah, let's go, guys. Now he need to pack at this. Ha! Oh, that's the Pekka, yo. Now, in this case, um, that Pekka might be a problem, but I'm going to show you guys some tricks. Hunter plays like this can easily stop the Pekka. Then I'm going to go this, then Nado like here. So that the goblins can help kill it and that should get zero damage let's go now in this case we're both deal zero damage to our enemy tower but we haven't even used our secret win condition graveyard now i want to first poison the firecracker that is some spell value so take it of course then mega not your mom boom then after by doing this mega nut, i can go my graveyard and boom what will you do for this? You wish? That's not enough. You need something more. That grave will do your mom and destroy it. So since he uses zap, now, yeah, you cannot break through our defense now. Okay, now, I can easily go tornado to kill the firecracker, then go blinks to kill the band and the stuff. So guys, overall, simple defense. So, even if he has arrows, it doesn't matter! Okay, should he actually have arrows? So, it could maybe be a problem for the goblins, but it will be totally fine. Now, Hunter right here, congrats, you get your first damage. I will sell, well played. Now, I'm going to go graveyard, boom. Now, let's see what he will do for this. 
Master Pekka, Mami Pekka. Oh no, Mami Pekka. The Mami Pekka went to the back rooms. Yay. Okay. Now, anyways, easy win once again, guys. So, gotta give him a good game though. A well played for getting one damage with a, with a monkey. Okay. Now, let's collect our masteries. Lol. Let's do one more match right here, guys. The last one for getting challenge 3. Anyways, jumping to our last match of the video right here. Oh. Where it looks like going to face against a royal giant deck. So, this will be easy. We have Hunter. Wait, no. He won't have royal giant. Yes, which? Okay. Um, nonetheless, I'm going to poison that. Okay, looks like he's going to have a giant graveyard deck, to be honest. Oh, that's the RG. Um, Barbaro, your mom? Okay. Now, this will be an easy match, guys. I mean, we have Hunter. We have Tornado. You're going to get destroyed. Never mind. I'm the one get, that gets destroyed because he has damage lead. However, it doesn't matter. We haven't unleashed our secret power yet. Executioner. The Executioner will destroy the witch, the goblin gang, your mom, your dad, your family, your entire neighborhood, whatever. Now, let's use our second secret power, Mega Nut. I know, I'm mid ladder. Shut up. That's my pers personality. Holy shut up. They do everything. OMG, guys. Mega Nut is for your mom. Let's go. Now, I'm going to go graveyard. Okay. Oh, oh my god. I almost screwed that. Freak you. I almost got gripped with King Tower Dog because... Yeah. Okay. Now, I almost screwed that so bad, bro. Imagine I doing that. That would be so dumb. Okay. Luckily, though, I doing my smart plays and actually don't do that. Now, going to go Bark Barrel for this. Hopefully, to force out something. Um. Okay. Um. That's not expected, but it'll be totally fine. Now, XC right here. This will wipe up and kill the scale drag as well. Perfect positioning. Let's go. Now, most likely he will go Witch for this or maybe a tank if he ha even have one. Let's see. Maybe a Mega Nut. Oh, Bark Barrel. Okay, well played. Now, uh, I'm going to go Mega Nut on the back. Uh, got a well played though for getting damage to my tower. Haha. <laughs> now, um, Witch on the opposite lane. Weird. But I, go but I don't give a shit. Now... Oh, that's why you have. I activated the King Tower accidentally! Shit, you! But it doesn't even matter, lol. Because you. I, okay, I do it purposely, guys. I want to show him. I want to show him who's boss here. That's why I activated his King Tower. I want to show him who's boss in this match. Now, uh, graveyard, this. Yep, good game. I purposely activate that because I want to show him who's the true boss. That's why. Now, anyways, gotta say well played to the 1200 damage to my tower. Ha! Now, there's Challenger 3, right? Let's do this, guys. Challenger 3. Yeah, there we go. 10 epic wild cards. Okay. Now, anyways, thanks for watching. This is the hashtag one best mega night deck currently in the world right now, guys. Really OP. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.